in Universe Sandbox. And today we are just going to mess with Earth. Right, Munch? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so for the first challenge, I want you to remove all the planets and swap them with Earth. Okay. So how to do that, we go click on a planet. Go to actions. Replace object. And then we can do any object. And then we pick Earth and then place, and then press replace. Awesome. So Munch, while you do that, I'm going to explain why we're actually doing that. I want to see if another Earth can survive our solar system, or if we're just that one special planet that will have life on it. So can you imagine if Earth was far out where Saturn is at? Will life be on Earth? We don't know. So as you keep going and moving along, we're gonna just check it out and see. Okay, that's every planet and dwarf planet replaced with Earth. Let's see. All right, let's zoom in and take a look. All of them are. All of them seem to be surviving. Now let's now let's actually check the Earth. This was the Earth that was Mercury. Look at it. Let's see it without the it atmosphere. It is completely... Oh. The water, it's so hot here. Oh yeah, the that, oceans are messed yeah, up. Yeah, the water is evaporating. Let's check out the life likelihood. Life likelihood. It's at... It's <laughs> 0.5%. at 0.5%. Wow. It's at 0.518. Well, we can't live on Earth if it resided in Mercury's orbit. How about Venus? Venus. Let's take a look at what Venus looks like. Um, Venus Venus is usually very hot. But it, it oh, it looks the same though. Go back. Turn the atmosphere off so we can see the continents. They all it, pretty much look the same. Yeah, Venus looks like the same. Usually Venus is hot. Because, like the, like the atmosphere traps heat. Right, but this is Earth's atmosphere. So, what's the temperature? The temperature is still, still pretty hot, but not as hot as Venus. Let's check life likelihood sixty nine point seven. Yeah, because we would be sitting in a hundred degree weather every single day but at least there's life so this is a planet we can live on so we already got one earth that's viable for life right but like life likelihood that's not just humans that's every life so like i believe if the number is 75 or lower that's no humans but probably like a bit of the animals and lots of fish would oh, survive would survive okay well, that's a potential orbit that Earth can live on. Okay, and then we have regular Earth. So we already know we're good. We're good on Earth. But I don't really know like the life exact like likelihood. It should be 100%. We're all Nin on it. 92.7. 92.7? Why is it not 99? We live on it. If it's like 100, that would be like, like um, 100,000 people. I mean, not a hundred thousand, a hundred billion people. Oh, okay. So basically Earth cannot hold that much life. 92%. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to Earth that is on Mars orbit. Okay. Can we live on that oh, planet? Oh, wow. The entire area is ice. Oh, wow. No, we can't live on that. Mommy cannot Let's live see. in the freezing cold. Life likelihood. <laughs> 93 it's higher than it's regular higher. Earth. regular earth was 92.7 wow but yet look at it there's more water isn't there so maybe there's more marine life more fish could that be it i have no idea but it's higher than regular earth i know well let's go go back to let's go to earth on mars orbit and let's check out the temperature is it something that we can actually bear? Oh. 
Negative 22.8. Oh, no. no, I remember when Man. it was negative 19 in New York City. I was freezing cold. No way. I am not doing that again. <laughs> All right, let's go to Earth on Jupiter's orbit. Okay, I think there's a little bit more ice uh, yeah. on there. And I think a little bit of the oceans are starting to freeze. Yes, I can see that happening. And Arctic and Antarctica are growing, kind of. So what's the average temperature? So life likelihood is 89.6. That's with not bad. That really is not bad. Basically, this is just showing how far we can go away from the sun and, and then, survive. And then here's the temperature. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, mommy cannot do cold weather. So I think all these planets after Earth, I, will, I personally will not survive because I don't like the cold weather. All right, let's see Saturn, Earth on Saturn's orbit. And we can actually add the rings. Let's do that. Add the, add the rings. Saturn rings. It's like it oh. feels like this area was Saturn. Oh wow. So temperature. Yeah, that's very cold. Let's see life likelihood. 89.4. I think that's a little above where Jupiter is. Yeah, let's go back and look at Earth and see if the continents are different, or the water. Pretty much nothing. Oh no, whoa! Look at that! What? All of that! All of what, here? Yes, Europe, Greenland, America, we're all connected now. <laughs> See, at the top? Oh. Yeah! So, all iced over, basically the water's freezing and it's just kind of looking like it's one huge continent yeah well not all the water is freezing so now let's go to earth earth where uranus was all right let's check it out now i bet you it's more more iced over yep it is yeah life likelihood 89.3 that's 0.1 lower than saturn all right so now neptune yeah neptune Right here. Whoa. Pretty much the same. Oh no, it's not pretty much the same. Look at it. Where? Oh, okay. Uh, at least Florida's still alive. <laughs> Florida's hanging out there. That's crazy, right? Yeah. And temperature. Wow. Still look very at that ocean. Cold. I feel like he had still lower. All right, well, it seems like Earth will survive on many orbits. We hope you enjoyed our video in Universe Sandbox. We have more coming, and we love to hear your suggestions. All right, well, Munch, let's tell our Playtime City friends bye. Bye. Bye.